the weekend has arrived, and we've got baseball from Progressive Field in Cleveland. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Cleveland Indians. Major League Baseball on MLB Network, coming up right after this. Mike Clevenger gets the starting assignment for the Tribe in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Mike Clevenger, big, tall, skinny guy, 6'4", about 215 pounds, three-pitch mix, not overpowering, good slider that's anywhere from 86 to 88 miles an hour. His fastball in the low to mid-90s needs the changeup, not a strike. Pitcher. If Clevenger is on, you'll see a lot of ground balls early on. Stepping up to the plate, Curtis Granderson. And we are set for baseball here this evening. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Underway now on a Friday night as the first pitch of our series misses for ball one. Fellas, we check out the tribe as they begin here tonight. They come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, Maddie, to expect to go through the course of a long season and just dominate every every game, every team, is just a foolish thought process. You're going to have these little hiccups throughout the course of the season. I think they keep you honest and keep you real and keep you on the attack. Let's see if they fight today. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier and making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Now a moment as we take a look at the Jays starting nine for this one. Debra, what do you got on this lineup in the series opener? Maddie, this is going to be a fun lineup for me to watch. I get fired up watching these guys because they all have a plan. It works for them. They follow the scouting reports. They grind it out in the video room. I'm interested to see what they've come up with. Stepping in, Devin Travis. And he's really been feeling it at the plate the last week or so. Definitely one player to keep your eye on right now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. The wind up and the 0 1. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. Hey, d -Row, this is a pitcher's best friend. Matthew Ross, very wide strike zone. Yeah, no excuses from the offense today. You know coming in, when you see the lineup card and Matt Ross is behind the That's dish, you better be aggressive. Two, two balls and a strike now. The count now at two and two. Looking for back-to-back -back K's to start the game. Fouled off. Two and two count. Here it comes. Missed with a slider. Justin Smoke is on deck. Just underway here in Cleveland. Here's a high pop-up. Kipnis is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Batting third. First baseman, Justin Smoke. Digging in the switch hitter, Justin Smoke. He was one for four back in Wednesday's contest. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. 
in tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Two out, nobody on. Oh my, this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? Gone! A solo shot here off the bat of Justin Smoke. Home run number three here in the early going. As the Jays get the game's first tally, it's one to nothing. I'm cold at this booth, so I know those players have to be cold out there. But it doesn't matter to him. He still has enough power to knock it out of the park to the opposite field, no less. Now that is some man strength. Here's Randall Gritcher. Randall Richard. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. The 1 0. Is chased out of the zone for strike one. one and two. Hey, after giving up that extra base hit right there, I love the fact that he came back with much better location, much better execution. That might have woke him up. The one, two. Hit hard on the ground to third. Throw on to Alonzo takes care of him and that ends the inning. Jay's off to a good start thanks to the solo shot. On to the bottom of the first, and Toronto's off to the early 1-0 lead. Marcus Stroman gets the starting assignment in this one for the Jays. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matty V, a little bit of a mixed bag with this guy. An ERA of over four in his last three starts. He's either been really good or really bad. And recently, he's been more bad than good. It'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around and pitch better in this one here today. Here's Rajay Davis time. now. He'll lead things Jeff off here Jeff. in the bottom half of the first. Ready, here's the first offering. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Uh, guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Matty, this definitely looks like a situation where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second, but this team has not played well. They find themselves losing lately. They lost the last game, and they're going to need a spark to get this thing turned around. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Hey, that's a really good pitch right there, and that's one of those off-balance swings. As a pitcher, you want to look in and say, howdy, if you're waving at me. A real ugly swing, and it gives you a lot of confidence when you make a guy look that bad. So hopefully he has another pitch left in his repertoire to bury this guy and get him out of there. Set to deal on two and two. Line shot to first, and there's one away. And with that, let's get a look at the starting lineup for the Indians. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, one man to look out for is Yonder Alonso. He's a special player, no doubt. But at home, get this, he's hitting over 400. I mean, he's swinging the bat. He's hitting everything. He's just a very special player playing at home in front of these fans. And as the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Head-to-head -head history with Marcus Stroman. He's just two for nine. First pitch coming, here it is. That's Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Yeah. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. Kipnis 
hails from the prairie state of Illinois. He was taken in the second round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go in the high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. In now for Cleveland, Jose Ramirez. And he comes in following a year in which he was named the American League's silver slugger for third baseman. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Hernandez going back on it. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Down in order go the Tribe. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Bring in Teoscar Hernandez. No career numbers to talk about for this matchup. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that one stayed too low apparently. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. When that thing goes whistling into the stands, you hope someone brought their glove and is able to get leather on it. Nope, and that's a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Here's how the Indians are setting up on D. And Manning second base, none other than Jason Kipnis. This guy likes to get dirty. He's also known as one of the best hitting second basemen in the game. Really solid on the defensive side as well. Here's Kendry's Morales. Past history with Mike Clevenger. He's hitless in three at bats. Here comes the first pitch. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Zimmer's in pursuit, and that's the second out of the inning. Batting seven. There's baseman. Russell Martin. Russell Martin now. It was a two for four effort for him in Wednesday's game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Kipnis has it. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Blue Jays go down in order and after an inning and a half it's one to nothing. So here's Francisco Lindor now. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Lindor. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat, but you really never want to put yourself in 0 2 count if you could do anything about it. Indian shortstop behind one and two in the count. Heading out towards shallow right. Granderson is under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. All right, guys, here's a defensive alignment for the Toronto Blue Jays today. 
And let's take a look at Curtis Granderson. He stood the test of time. Former center fielder, can play both corners as well. Known for picking him up and putting him down. This guy can go get him in the gaps. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. Head-to-head -head history with Marcus Stroman. He's a 3.33 hitter. Here's the first pitch to him. No balls and a strike to count. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Naquin tends to have more success against right-handed pitching like this than he does against southpaws. Could be a comfort thing. Maybe he just picks up the ball a little better. But that's the book on him at this point. And a good two strike pitch but he misses high one and two. Hey I can understand why he wanted to elevate the fastball right there. This batter's eyes have been lit up since he stepped in the box. Let's see if he gets him fishing on something breaking in the dirt right here. The one and two pitch. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two. That ain't it. Here's Yonder Alonso. He's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Stroman steps into the windup. Here's the first pitch. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. He'll score it, and that's the third out. Indians go down one, two, three. They're down one, nothing. Stepping up now, Aledmus Diaz, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. One, one and oh. That misses two and oh. Much too quick on the trigger there. It's two and one. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. A little bouncer. That winds up foul for the second strike. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt him over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Liner toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, d -row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Here's the catcher, Luke Maley. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Diaz on at first, nobody out. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch.
in now. Curtis Granderson. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be troubled. Diaz rounds third and is digging for the plate. He scores. And they now lead by two. Absolutely scorched that base hit. Worthy of some show track love. And as you see it, it came off the bat at 110 miles an hour. That's definitely squaring a ball up. Standing in now, Devin Travis, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He popped out in his first trip. Kipnis in the hole, and there's out number two. Miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. The one one. Is looked at for ball number two. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. From the belt, the pitch. Three and one. He's gotten himself into a little bit of trouble out here. Middle of the order up in a run scoring situation, and now he might have to challenge him. Gonna have to make some good pitches here. The three and one pitch. That's down low, it's ball four. And they're at the corners now with two away. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. So here's the cleanup hitter, Rendell Gritcher. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Runners at the corners, two men out. Into right field, that's a base hit. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. Hey, guys, that's a well-executed slider down and away right there. The batter just did an amazing job of staying inside the baseball and driving it the other way. Into the box now to Oscar Hernandez as he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. If I'm on the mound right now, I know I'm in the hitter's head. He was definitely sitting soft. I might speed him up and elevate it right here. Working for the punch out and the offering. Oh, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye. One and two. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt.
The one-two. Smoked on the ground, left side. And that's through into left, a base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. There's a lot of moving parts in some guys' swings. It usually takes them a month or so to get it ironed out. Stepping in now, Kendrys Morales. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Even though we're still in the early going, I think this game's at a tipping point right now. They've got a chance to put this game out of reach, but if they can't score any more here, the other guys feel like the door's still open. Here it comes, 1-0. Swing and a little tapper. That rolls foul for strike one. Saw his eyes light up that time, but he swung at a bad one there. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. So they wind up with two in the inning, but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Toronto leads this one three to nothing. Lonnie Chisholm Hall will stand in. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. First pitch coming. Here it is. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. Now at the plate, Francisco Mejia. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. First offering on its way. A ball and no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Popped him up. Travis backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Batting ninth. Left fielder, Bradley. And that'll bring in the San Diego product, Bradley Zimmer. Head to head history with Marcus Stroman. He's 0 for 4. Stroman gets the sign. Here comes the first pitch. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. With two outs, they're not playing him to bun here, and he didn't show it there, but I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't at least thinking about it. He handles the bat pretty well, and he can definitely run. Indians still in search of their first hit of the ball game. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Smoke on the ground up the middle. And there's the first hit of the game for Cleveland. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Set it back right where it came from. Here's Rajay Davis now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. The 0 and 1 delivery. Swing and a miss on a nice biting slider.
in the dirt is there and he's out trying to take second Indians failed to score still down three nothing Into the box now, Russell Martin, as we begin the top of the fourth. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the fresh run and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch of the at-bat. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game, and they've got the lead looking for more. Next pitch, chop foul right at home plate, and he's behind nothing and two now. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Hit hard back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. And that'll bring up a lead Miss Diaz. Runner at first to start the inning, and Dan, when it comes to pitching in the rain, what changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry, and if you don't have a good feel on that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A fastball that just misses inside. Line to the right side. In there, a base hit. There's high ball hitters and low ball hitters in the game. Obviously, this guy likes the ball down below the knees. Nice piece of hit. Here's the catcher, Luke Maley. Fastball and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Whoa, he looks a little frustrated out there, and I don't blame him. He gives up a couple of hits early inning, and then he plunks this guy. He's fighting himself a little bit, so they might want to head out to the mound and try to calm him down. It is Curtis Granderson. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. Ramirez is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Now batting. Second base. Riding in once again, Devin Travis. No hits to this point. First delivery to him on the way. Ball one. Ball one. That last pitch was number 60 already. With one out in the fourth, that's way too many. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Martin at third, Diaz on second, Maley is over at first with one away. In the dirt and block behind the plate, 
And oh, almost had him, but he's able to make it back to first safely. From the belt, kicks and deals. Very weakly on the ground. And it's fouled away. The 2-2 one more time. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Nick Wooden's under it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate. And he is safe at the plate. It's now a 4-0 game. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with the sack fly. Here's Justin Smoke now. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. First pitch of the at-bat. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Four runs, seven hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. In the dirt here. So now two men in scoring position. Well, you live by the sword, you die by it too. He went with an off-speed pitch down in the zone, and that's the risk you take there. The catcher can't come up with it, and two runners advance. Now they're both in the scoring position. Second and third, two away. Two balls and two strikes now. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Two-two is a changeup that misses. Three and two. Rendell Britcher would be next. Three two pick is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. A run on two hits here for Toronto. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Blue Jays on top, four to nothing. Leading off the inning, Rajay Davis. Leading and the they'll need him to get something going here. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that'll get down for a base hit. So that leadoff base hit means considerable speed aboard to start out the inning. Somebody's going to be icing their thumbs after this game. That's a jam sandwich, but able to mix in a knock.
Digging in, Jason Kipnis. He popped out in his first trip. Now a throw over, and he'll dive back in. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. The 0 and 1 delivery. And there's ball one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And that misses two and two. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Defense has got to be on their toes right here. Three-two count. Runner on first has got some serious wheels. You know he's probably being put in motion. Slow bouncer to the right side. That rolls foul, and they'll do it again. Now a throw over to first, back in standing. The 3 2 one more time. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits. So his command has been pretty solid so far. Stepping into the box, Jose Ramirez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. This is absolutely a huge spot right here. They have to find a way to get something out of this half inning. I don't care if it's one run or two runs. You have to find a way to at least give yourself a little shot of confidence that you can get back into this one. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. That is what every manager is looking for out of the middle of his lineup. When you get your three, four, and five hitters producing this early in the season, it can be contagious and everyone in the lineup starts to contribute. So here's Francisco Lindor now. And it's grounded just foul down the line. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. <laughs> 0 1 count. Here's the pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Side. One and two. Two balls and two strikes to count to Francisco Lindor. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Kipnis, the runner at third. Ramirez stands at second. No outs.
swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Now batting, center fielder. Standing in, Tyler Naquin, who was a strikeout victim in his first try. From the stretch. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. One and oh pitch on the way. Takes a knee high fastball. That's a real good job of going back to back fastballs right there. Most of the time, a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate, and they'll just think, well, this pitcher's going to go back on the outside. But when you double up like he did right there, it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner half of the plate. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. As he arrives at second without a play, as two runs come across to score away from the play. First baseman, number 17, Yonder Alonso. So striding in, Yonder Alonso, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. And a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. The one one is a slider taken for a ball. and two strikes now. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. This is hit the other way out toward left field. On the run is Hernandez. Two gone. So coming to the plate, Lonnie Chisenhall. He flew out in his last at bat. Set and the pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Stroman comes set. 0-1 oh, on its way. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. Once more it was taken for ball one. Grilled right back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. The tying run is into score from second. Boy, there are big RBIs and big base hits, Dero, but none more than with two outs. A big two-out knock right there. Not only ties things up, but keeps the inning going as well. Yeah, just a great approach right there by the batter. You never know when your number's going to be called. You always wanted to pass the baton to the next guy behind you. Take the donut off your bat and trust in the teammate behind you. That is a huge knock and keeps the line moving. One ball, no strikes to count.
line toward the gap in left center. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Now batting. Left fielder. Bradley Zimmer. So now the Jays manager will make his way out toward the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So a less than stellar performance here tonight as he makes the early exit and forces that bullpen into action much earlier than anticipated. Danny Barnes answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. Bradley Zimmer will be his first assignment as he steps in with two men in scoring position now, but also two away. He's set. Here it comes. And the changeup is way low that time. The 1-0. -oh. Sinks below the knees, taken for a ball. The 2-0 on the way. Hit back up the middle. Diaz picks it up. Throw in time, and they stop the bleeding as the side is retired. Nine men come to the plate. Four score. We played four full, and we are tied 4-4. Here's Randall Gritchick. He's one for two in the ball game. Center fielder, Randall Gritchick. First offering on its way. High and deep down the left field line. Zimmer is after it. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now Offense Left apparently field. not hard to come by tonight as you get a look at our line score through the first half of the ball game and boy the runs have been coming fast and furious so far. So striding forward now to Oscar Hernandez he singled his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. And that one just missed outside. On its way is pitch number 75. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Onto the home run porch and gone. So a solo shot down the line in left. First home run of the campaign for him as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Certainly a tape measure shot there as we take a look at it with our show track technology. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity so it comes as no surprise that it carried as far as it did. Here's Kendry's Morales. Kendry's Morales. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 1 0 home. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Popped him up. And he'll get over to the Oh, it kicks off his glove. How did he do that? The one-two. 
Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. Two two pitches fouled away. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. Russell Martin now a hit in two tries so far. First pitch on its way. The change up right on the outside corner for a strike. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Strike two. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Heading after it is Naquin. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. A run for the Jays on the solo homer. Middle of the night here from Progressive Field. It's now 5-4 Toronto. Striding in for the Indians, Rajay Davis. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. First delivery to him on the way. A cold strike on the inside corner. Barnes, a six foot one inch right hander. He was taken in the very late rounds back in the 2010 first year player draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar. But to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. A ball and a strike now. The 1-1 one, one home. Taking strike two. One two. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And he's going to have room to put this one away and that's the first out. Blue Jays are into their bullpen now as there are the final numbers for their starter. Certainly not the night he wanted to have. One man out now in the Cleveland fifth. And standing in now, the power hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Here comes the 0 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. The two one. 
is laid off bump for ball number three. Bases are empty, one man out. The three two pitch. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Well, he battled to get it to a three two count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Jose Ramirez, one for two with a double on his line thus far. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016. Just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley in the production they would miss from him in the lineup, and Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. Ball one to start the at-bat. The 1-0. Hit hard down the right field line, but that's a foul ball. A 1 1 home. Fouled away. Kipnis stands at first with one out. Now another 1 2. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. He's just having a hard time putting this guy away. Four foul balls in this A.B. I don't think this pitcher has got something that he can get a swing and a miss on. So two balls and two strikes now. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Now it's the all-world all-star shortstop Francisco Lindor. 1-0 and oh the count. One oh home is taken strike one. So one one lifted the other way to left center, giving Chase his Hernandez. He's got it as the tying run is left on base. Both teams battling the elements thus far, but we've got a tight game through five. We're back to Friday night baseball on MLB Network after this. Zach McAllister takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 34, Zach McAllister. And that'll bring up Oledmus Diaz. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Now the 1 0 misses ball two. Three and oh now. 
ball three to a leadoff hitter that can run. Not the greatest way to start this right here. I think right now you really have to start pouring some pitches into that strike zone. This is hit high in the air out to left field. Zimmer waits on it. He's got it one away. Now batter, catcher, Luke Maley. Stepping in, Luke Maley. He's got to be looking for vengeance after getting plunked in his last at bat. Here's the pitch. And that misses for ball one. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Strike. Action going on now in the Indians' bullpen as they have a left hander up and getting loose. Five runs, eight hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. A one and two count to the Blue Jays' signal caller. I'm trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. Might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. In is Curtis Granderson. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw on to Alonzo, takes care of him, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They lead it five to four. Ryan Tapera enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 52, Ryan And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. First offering on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Roll right back at him, and it hit him. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. Here's Yonder Alonzo. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. First pitch on its way. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. One out, nobody on. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. On the run, this one in on him and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. And some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right-hander starts to get loose. The one-two. Popped him up. And Martin able to look this one in for out number two. The right fielder, number eight. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand in. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out.
This is hit the other way out toward left field. Waiting on it is Hernandez. And that's the third out. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We're through six full. The Jays are out in front, five to four. Back here in Cleveland, seventh inning coming up with the Jays out in front as we give you a look at our game summary to this point. Evan Marshall is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 50, Evan Marshall. So digging in now, Devin Travis earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate. First delivery to him on the way. Missed with a slider. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Ball two now. Boy, he just looks locked in at the plate right now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good, and those were two stone-cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitter's count. Two balls and a strike. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Chisenhall giving chase. One out. Justin Smoke will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ballgame. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Change up in for a strike. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Behind 0 and 2 now. Here's the 0 and 2. And another foul ball. Two once more. Not surprisingly, here this is on the ground to the right side. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Up next for the Lucas, center fielder, Randall. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Randall Gritcher. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Leaves a change up high for a strike. Late one ball, one strike. Marshall, a California-born ball player. He was a fourth-round selection back in 2011. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy. Drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Outside, 2-1. and one. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing.
the 2 1 home. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Two out, nobody on. And strike three called as he says, You got to be kidding me with the side retired. Blue Jays go down in order. They hold on to a 5 4 lead. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Francisco Mejia, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Strike one to start the at bat. 0 oh, and 1 count, and the pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Ready on 0 and 2. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning. So that was a big out. Here's the first pitch to him, and it's fouled away. behind 0-2 now. and 2 here it comes. And that sinker misses at the shoe tops. Ball one. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will. Just to the right of the chalk. A fair ball. And there's your tying run at second base with a one-out double. What a nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Stayed on the attack, kept his hands inside the ball, and tipped with the pitcher gave. Tyler Clifford takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. Clifford. Here's Rajay Davis now as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh he's working on a one for three thus far. The one oh is in there for strike one. Two and one now to the tribe's leadoff man. Clifford, a Kentucky born ball player. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Three and one to him now. Zimmer leads off second with one gun in the inning. Three and two to the Indian center fielder. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Here comes the payoff pitch. Swing and a liner. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Boy, every pitcher needs a little bit of help. How about this? This infielder makes a terrific catch on this line drive, probably saving a run from scoring. Into the box now, Jason Kipnis. Runner in scoring position with Sujan. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. 
in there, and it's 0-1. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Down the third baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. The 0-2 home. Splitter misses, and it's 1-2 and two now. is an off-speed pitch. No dice. It's two and two. Two out here and a runner at second. Fastball is outside and it's full now. Three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to three and two and he's seen a lot of pitches too. Two pitch pulled toward right center field. Richard moving to his left. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. One left for the tribe, and the deficit holds at five to four. Your Nick Goody has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 44, Nick Goody. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. Leading off for Toronto, left fielder, Teoscar From the stretch, lays Count off 1-0. Oh. Two and zero oh to the Jays' left fielder. Now the two zero, oh. high in the air and deep to left center field. Naquin racing back, still going back, and it's gone as they add still another. So a solo shot here to left center field is second of the game and it's now six to four. And this is big right here. It's one thing to be winning late in the game but going up by two runs makes a huge difference. Now their bullpen doesn't have to be perfect just good. It takes a lot of pressure off especially when you're on the road. George Contos is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. How about it? Here's Kendry's Morales. Kendry's Morales. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage to it. How about it? Russell Martin. Digging in to try it again. Russell Martin. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he fouls this one off. one home to Martin yeah. a fastball right over the outside corner yeah. 
low with a fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Bases are empty. One man out. And Martin swings and misses that time on a good pitch and he's gone on strikes for route number two. Up next for the Blue Jays. Stepping into the box, Aledmus Diaz. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. First pitch on its way. 0 and 1 the count. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And that one cut a little too much, a ball and a strike. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. Awfully frustrating for a pitcher. You make a close pitch like that that just barely misses. Whoo, that's a tough one to get back. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Success on a three and one count to keep the inning alive here. Wow, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, D Row. Three for four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. One ball, no strikes to count. A runner on first with two away. Skied down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The 1 1 home is laid off for ball two. From the stretch. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. The two two one more time. It's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. It's a run on two hits, one left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Jays lead it six to four. Aaron Luke is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 62, Aaron Luke. Jose Ramirez will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Hit in the air out to right. Granderson is under it. One down. The batter, the shortstop. Francisco. Now it's the all world all star shortstop Francisco Lindor. No thump out of him in this game so far, as might be expected. He's 0 for 3. Maddie, he checks every box charisma, smile, 
hits from both sides of the plate with pop, defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. And a pitch one in the one. dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. This is the big out to get right here. This is their best hitter. He's a great hitter, and he's a guy that kind of spark plug. He gets this team going. So if I'm on the mound right now, you really want to try to get this guy out to hopefully keep them from getting a potential big inning started. A shot down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. He's set, and the one-two pitch. Line drive to left. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. Now batting, center fielder, Harlan Naquin. Now to the plate, Tyler Naquin. He was a ground out victim last time up. And he'll step off and fire to the bag. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Sliders in for a strike. Lou, a left-hander standing just under six feet at 5'11". He was a ninth-round pick back in the 2009 MLB draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. And he one misses and with it, one and one. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And that's in there, base hit. The relay throw, and he's safe. Hey, guys, he's lucky he's getting his baseball back. He hung that middle of the plate. The batter's eyes lit up, and he was able to put good foot on. Now in the box, Yonder Alonso. In his last at-bat, he popped out in foul ground. Set and the pitch. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. Got to believe the manager didn't have this in mind when he went to the bullpen. This reliever's got to step up right here. It's starting to tickle a little bit after getting hit around early. Now a snap move over to first. And he just manages to get his hand in. Runners are at first and third, one away. right there for a called strike two. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute and hope to even get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. And he'll snap one over the first. And he's back easily. The one-two is taken for ball two. Runners are at the corners with one man out. This is popped up. Diaz is there for it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. The right fielder, number eight. So stepping in, Lonnie Chisenhall. Dan, Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick.
Here's the first pitch to him. Grounded to short. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Indians strand a couple. Score remains steady at six to four. Oliver Perez enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Curtis Granderson matchup numbers with Oliver Perez just three for 14. He's set here it comes. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Perez has racked up over 1,300 innings on the Major League mound, and through those innings, he's posted a whip a little under 1.5. Certainly something he'd like to improve on. Now a swing and a miss there from Granderson, and he's quickly down here 0 and 2. Hey, you could tell his eyes lit up on that ball right there. It was a little up, but it was out over the plate. Tough pitch to pull, and this guy's known for going deep pull side. Here's the 0 and 2. And a good hard slider as this one swung on and missed for the first out here in the ninth. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. Into the box, Devin Travis. As he'll take one up in the three in the game so far. Popped him up. Mejia. Shading to his right. Two down. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Here's Justin Smoke now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The 0 1 pitch. Hey. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. Hey, back to back, same pitch, same spot. Don't be shocked if he goes right back out there. If I'm a hitter, that's where I'm sitting. Everyone would think he wants to go somewhere else. He might go right exactly to the same spot. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Smoke waiting on the one, two. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They're up six to four. Roberto Ozuna takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Roberto Francisco Mejia will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Francisco Mejia. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Osuna, pretty much a manager's dream coming out of the bullpen. High strikeouts, doesn't walk a lot of batters, usually a recipe for a lot of success. Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build the perfect relief pitcher, you'd want a guy that throws a lot of strikes, that minimizes the base on balls, 
and nobody does it as good as this guy does right now in the game of baseball. Richard is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth. This crowd was open for one away. Bradley Zimmer. Digging in and looking for more, Bradley Zimmer. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. Nothing in two count and the pitch fouled off. The next 0 2 is fastball down below the knees. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Well, when you hear people talk about the unwritten rules of baseball, I think we just saw a perfect example of that. You hit one of mine, and I'm going to hit one of yours. Always been that way and probably always will be, even though they've tried to crack down on that kind of stuff recently. Here's Rajay Davis now. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep, but if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. First pitch of the at bat. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's going to have success, he's got to establish that pitch in. Here it comes, 1 0. Oh. To short, Diaz scoops it up to second for one. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and they end this thing with style, turning that double play to preserve the win. That's what we call finishing strong. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. Toronto used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Danny Barnes claims the win out of the pen, his first. Roberto Ozuna earns the save out of the bullpen, his third of the campaign. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak, and the entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody. Fans, our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Blue Jays. Six runs, ten hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For Cleveland, four runs on nine hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 15 minutes. A reminder that the Regional Transit Authority provides convenient, affordable service to and from progressive vehicles. The Rapid Transit provides direct service to Tower City, only a short 10-minute walk from Progressive Field through RTA's walkway to Gateway.